What is up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Very Vanessa, where I talk about nursing, beauty, and health. Welcome, welcome, welcome if you're new to this channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the benefits of taking CMOS on a daily basis. And um, I'm basically going to be dividing this video into two parts. So in the first part, I'm going to be talking about all of the benefits of CMOS, um, just things that it will help you with overall, things it's going to help with in your body. And in the second part of the video, I'm going to be talking about my own personal experience with CMOS, how I came across it, and I'm going to show you actual lab results of where I was at before I started taking CMOS and where my lab results are now that I've been consistently taking it. So let's get into the video. Actually, let me show you what CMOS looks like. If this is the first time that you are hearing about CMOS or maybe you've seen other videos, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like, okay? I have it in a stainless steel bowl. I have about two pounds of CMOS here. Um, it has not been washed yet, so this is literally straight from the sea. See, it still has like the sand and everything on there. Um, there we go. Many places that you can find sea moss, just make sure that it is like a West Indian kind of market. I know that they do sell sea moss online. Maybe for those that don't really have access to a lot of like West Indian markets, places like that. Just make sure that you kind of find out where the sea moss comes from. Make sure it's a reliable source. So what is sea moss good for? It's good for weight loss. It's good for eczema, um, acne, rashes, hyperpigmentation. If you have like a lot of dark spots on your face due to like popping pimples or you have excess scarring. Um, sea moss is really good like if you make it into a mask um, and you can just apply the sea moss, it's excellent for your skin. It's also beneficial for thyroid health, vaginal health. It's an aphrodisiac, so it's gonna make you more in the mood to be intimate with your partner, which is a plus. Um, it is a mucus dissolver, and that's probably the best um, thing about sea moss is that it literally eliminates mucus from your body. So it's really good if you're starting to feel like you're getting sick. Um, you just take a spoon of the sea moss, you drink it with plenty of water, and you'll notice that you'll start to cough up the mucus. Like It's just so awesome if you're not feeling well. It's also good for joint and tissue health. It helps restore the cells, rebuild back the cells that are damaged, which is why at the same token, it's also beneficial for digestive health. So um, if you're the kind of person that you eat and maybe you overeat, so you feel like you have like acid reflux episodes or undigested food, it helps um, because it's a mucus dissolver, it helps get things going through your GI tract, okay? So it's eliminating the mucus as it's going down, it's healing the tissues. In addition, it is also clearing out your colon and it is helping with constipation. If you have a lot of constipation issues, sea moss helps with that. Um, it is something that is just so awesome. I think that sea moss is really, really beneficial with eliminating the mucus in the body. And if you stick with it, you will see a very big difference. The first time that I tried sea moss, I was like, what is this? Like the way that it tastes, it literally tastes like it's from the sea. Um, but the more that I started taking it, the more benefits that I saw. So now let's talk about my personal experience with CMOS and why I co-sign it and how I just got my whole family on this CMOS vibe. Um, basically, I developed uterine fibroids um, about four to five years ago. They did some ultrasounds and found out that I did have a, a very small fibroid. 
So because it was very small, there was really no intervention. I wasn't told anything about modifying my diet. As a matter of fact, at the time, um, I was actually told to get on birth control um, if my bleeding gets out of control, you know, due to the fibroids. So at that point, it really wasn't bothering me. So I just kind of disregarded it. Like it, it was not even a factor in my life. When I got in nursing school, this is three years later after I was first diagnosed, um, my period started getting very, very bad. Um, I, it was just getting bad. I started passing clots during my cycle. Um, I, I just noticed a very big change. Um, I started having painful sex. Um, I would, you know, start spotting after sex. And I attributed everything that I was seeing to stress and not to the fibroid. Um, I'm saying all of this to say that my diet and everything that I was putting in my body contributed to the excess mucus, which resulted in the formation of the fibroids. And had I known all these years ago, the information I'm telling you now, I could have prevented those fibroid from growing, that one fibroid from growing big and then creating an additional two fibroids. So if you kind of want to hear more about my journey with fibroids, I have more videos on my channel, but I kind of wanted to give you that back story as to why I know I developed fibroids. I've started incorporating CMOS so that these suckers don't come back. And um, I actually had a fibroid embolization procedure a few months ago. And um, it's basically a procedure where they went in and they basically cut off the blood supply to the fibroids because mine had gotten so big to the point that if I would have left it as it kept, if I would have left it as it was, I would have just gotten to a point that they may have to have taken my my whole uterus. And unfortunately, that happens with some women where, you know, they try natural remedies, they try things. And sometimes these tumors get to a point where it's too big that medical intervention is necessary. So I felt that was the best choice for me. And... Ever since I had my surgery, I have been consistently taking my CMOS. Um, I've changed my diet. I, I stay away from red meat. I've really tried to stay away from the dairy. Um, it is something I'm still struggling with. But I do want to share my personal, like, seeing the changes in my body when I started taking the CMOS. So be, like I said, before I started taking the CMOS, I was very severely anemic to uterine fibroids. And um, I would bleed so bad every month, um, past clots. I would literally have to change my pad every 30 minutes. And I talk more on my channel about my full uterine fibroid journey and everything. But in terms of CMOS and how it really helped with me is that I started taking this CMOS, um, I started taking it about three to four weeks before my last fibroid surgery. And I noticed that I just had more energy. Before I started taking this, guys, literally I would be so tired all the time. Um, I would be able, like, let's say, for example, on my day off, I'll be able to cook dinner, but I couldn't wash the dishes. Um, I would be able to go to work, but then after work, I had no energy to do anything else. Um, I would literally fall asleep on a dime. I would want to nap all the time. My hair was falling out. My nails were breaking off. Um, I was always tired no matter what, like, and my boyfriend you know, he was like, babe, why are you so tired all the time? And I was like, you know, my iron is low. And at the time I was taking um, iron pills. I had gone through two iron infusions, IV infusions. 
that both cost me two thousand dollars um my insurance didn't cover it um taking iron every day that was constipating me um i was trying to implement greens in my diet but it just was not working so my boyfriend did some research and he found sea moss and i am so glad that he did because this has literally changed my life not only did this get my iron levels up and my hemoglobin level up before surgery in a, in just 30 days but it also helped with my recovery process and i have not felt as fatigued as i used to feel i actually don't feel tired really at all um and it is just like my hair my skin like everything is just glowing everything is just so much better so i am gonna show you what my levels were my blood test levels were before i started taking cmos all right so here are my lab um results okay and if you go where it says hemoglobin and you look at the dates um so in july my hemoglobin was in the sevens august in the nines um september in the tens and then november it got to the 13s um, and then recently in december 13.5 so as you can see um i started taking the cmos about a month before my surgery in november and you can clearly see a difference between the 10.6 and the 13.3. So as you can see, there was a very big difference in what my hemoglobin level was before I started taking the CMOS and up until the day of surgery. But guys, I feel great. Like, look at me. I mean, I'm glowing and everything. Like, just come on. So yeah, this is my wrap up video this is you know my honest and true opinion on cmos it worked for me i have everybody in my family taking it um so yeah in the next video i will be showing you exactly how i prepare the cmos okay so look out for that if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and i'll see you next time bye